Hi there, Michael Eskin here with another ABC Transcription Tools demo. I'm very happy to announce that I finally have a metronome available in the player. And I was able to leverage all the work I did recently with the custom rhythms and the metronome injection so that when you're in the player, by clicking a button, it will create a metronome version of the tune and then inject it into the player. And you can go back and forth between the normal tune and the tune with the metronome. So I'll just give you a quick demo. I've got a reel and a jig, a slip jig, a slide, a polka, and a waltz here. We'll just go ahead and bring in coolies. We'll hit the player. And you can see there's a new button here, enable metronome. So we'll go ahead and play it. And if you click enable metronome, it's gonna generate the metronome version. And then if you want to stop the metronome, you just hit disable metronome. Now we'll play back the normal version. We'll go to a different kind of tune. Let's go down to O'Keefe's. It's a slide. We'll play it. So we'll play without the metronome. Now we'll enable the metronome. So it's pretty robust. Let's, uh, let me give you another example here. Let me clear this and I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, a couple of the standard tunes here. So because the, uh, because the metronome uses the chord system to be able to do what it does, it basically creates a custom rhythm and it sets up the instruments so that you get percussion, that sort of thing. When you actually play a tune that has chords in it, it's going to remove all the chords and inject the metronome track. And the very first time you use this feature on a system, it's going to put up a little dialogue explaining this to you. So it won't be a complete surprise. So when I click enable metronome, what you see is all the chords are going to go away and we're going to end up with just this one chord. And that's the one that kicks off the metronome. If I disable it, I'm back to the regular version. And again, the metronome version. And the other thing too is if you download an MP3 when you have the metronome selected, the version that you're going to get will actually have the metronome in it. So we'll go ahead and play that MP3. So that's kind of cool. You don't have to go through a whole bunch of gyrations to get a metronome into one of your MP3s. Uh, let's see, uh, another example here, I'm going to bring in something more complicated. Uh, I think I'll bring in a um, imported music XML file. So in this case, um, one of the ragtime sources, I think, the um, Solus. So um, these were pretty hard to figure out how to, how to do a metronome in these because the placement of the patterns and all that in the ABC is really critical. But I think I've got it sorted. So here's an example. We'll go ahead and play it. And this is without the metronome. Turn the metronome on. So you can see it's a pretty robust system. I'm sure there's going to be some tunes where the metronome completely falls apart. For example, if you give it a if you give it a rhythm that it doesn't know about. Now, I've got most of the standard rhythm supported. So your 2434687858108 cut time, that sort of thing. Those are all supported. But if you give it something weird, I don't know, 23 and you try to create a metronome, it's just going to say there's just not a metronome pattern available for this. And it'll let you play it, but it just won't give you the ability to play with a metronome. So just be aware of that. So anyway, I think this is an exciting new feature. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time, but I took all of these baby steps to get there to be able to do it. So if you run into a tune and it doesn't work, 
please send it to me in a share link and I can use it to help try to improve the metronome system going forward. All right, thanks everyone. I hope the tool continues to be useful for everybody and I hope you enjoy using it.